Hi, Renee. Happy Tuesday. I am feeling well. I've had a good week. My, my dental experience has gotten better, so I'm doing well. We're heading down to a Clemson football game this weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. Looks like it might be just you and me, Renee, tonight, because I want to get started on time. It's 8.30. Somebody else is popping in. All righty, I'm going to get started. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Tuesday Night Facebook Live. Tonight, we're going to be working on a really fun little gift bag. But before we talk about that, I wanted to announce the winner of the gingerbread, the yummy Christmas gingerbread box and the pack of designer series paper from Magnolia Lane. And that winner is Barbara Hura. So Barbara, I know your address. I can get this to you quickly. Thanks as always for watching and commenting. Please, if you're watching tonight, make sure you comment and share this video. And you might just win something, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Tonight's a little different. I'm going to be talking about more of a craft. Uh, one of the projects does not really pertain specifically to any one of the suites out of the catalog. Here's our catalog, and the holiday catalog has been going strong since the beginning of September, and it will continue on through January. So if you don't have one of these lovely things in your hot hands, you want to get one. And if you need one, please just message me and let me know. All right, so tonight we're gonna make something called a fold flat lunch bag. Okay, let me show you some that I've made here. And you can really use any kind of um, designer series paper. Here I use some from the, this is from the Let It Snow Suite, this cute little stripe. This is from the Twall um, Suite. And this one is from the Brightly Gleaming Suite. So I took one from all different kinds of paper, but they're really fun to make and they're just great to have around. So let me show you on the side here. They are built just like a lunch bag, the old fashioned kind of lunch bags we had growing up as kids. I actually carried my lunch in a lunch bag at one time in my life, I admit it. But they're really nice to have because they are really quite spacious inside. You can kind of see there how much room, there's plenty of room for a, a small gift. And what's nice about them is that they fold up and you can make them and have them set and ready to go with all your other things that you have to put your gifts together, your, pre, your wrapping paper and those kind of things and have them like this. And here I'll show you another example. This one is with the toile and what I did is I just I can stick my little item in there, whatever I have, jewelry or candy, and I can put a little bit of tissue paper in with it, and there I have a gift ready to go. So you can have that ready to go. And then I also made a little card, a little three by three mini note card that you can make that coordinates with your gift bag. And then Stampin' Up! also sells the little envelopes that go with those so that you can put a little note inside with your gift. So it's just nice to have these around for those unexpected people that might show up and have a gift for you. Hi, Diane, thanks for joining. Because that has happened to me at some time, someone will come over a neighbor or something with a, a plate of cookies and you're like, oh no, I don't have anything. So this is something to have around that you can pop something small in and um, be ready to give it to them. 
All right, so let's get started and talk about how to make these fold flat. I call them the lunch bag style gift bag, just to make it a little sound more specific to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna start out with a piece of designer series paper. And is this not the most adorable designer series paper you've seen? Look at this, this is from the Let It Snow Sweet, tiny little snowmen all over this seat. Isn't that so cute? That's gonna be such a great piece to make into a little gift bag. This would be great for, uh, for a child. All right, so the piece that you're going to need is eight inches by 12 inches. So you're gonna need um, designer series, pa series paper that comes in 12 by 12 size sheets to make these. All right, so this is eight by 12. Don't worry, I'm gonna have all these dimensions and I'm gonna put this tutorial on my blog. So don't worry, just sit back and enjoy. All right, let's bring up our Simply Scored scoring board. Okay, now, what I would suggest you do first is score on the short side. So we're gonna put the short side, the eight inch side, up at the top. Okay, now, you wanna make this, is you're gonna score the short side at two. And you wanna score it at the side of the paper that is gonna be the bottom. See, now this paper has directionality. Okay, we want all the snowmen to be standing upright when the bag is finished. So we need to keep that in mind when we're scoring. So when we do the short side score, you wanna make sure you're scoring the two inch on the bottom side of the bag. So that's gonna be over here, cause this is gonna be on the bottom. This is gonna be the top of the bag and this is gonna be the bottom because of the direction of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and score on the short side at two inches. All right, that's the only score we need on the short side. Then we're gonna go ahead and put it up on the long side or the 12 inch side. And we're gonna score at two, five and three quarters, seven and three quarters, 11 and a half. That's two, five and three quarters, seven and three quarters, 11 and a half. All right, now, before we're done, we're gonna do some partial scoring. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to the one inch scoring spot, and I'm gonna score down there to the five inch line. Okay, so here I am here's at one, and I'm gonna score down to where it says five inches. This is just gonna be a partial score to help with the pleats on the side of my bag. So this doesn't have to be exact, so I kind of just eyeball it and I go to the one and I come right down to about where five is, okay? Then I'm gonna do the same thing, a partial score over here at six and three quarters and just kind of measure across where five is. Remember, you don't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna come down and do a partial score to five, okay? So that is all the scoring that we're gonna have to do and those partial scores will make more sense as we start to put the bag together. All right, the first thing we're gonna need to do is go ahead and fold on all our score lines. Okay, I'm gonna use my bone folder because it's a good way of getting nice, clean, firm folds. So when you're putting a bag or a box together, it comes together a not lot nicer if you've got good folds. Now the partial score lines, you don't wanna fold on those yet. You wanna wait, okay? So just fold on the lines that go all the way top to bottom or all the way from one side to the other. Those partial ones we're gonna wait on for a minute. Okay, I've got those all folded and creased now. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to, hey Rhonda, we're gonna go ahead and bring in my scissors. And you'll notice looking down at the bag, you'll notice that one of the sides is very thin, okay? It's a nice thin strip down the side, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut up that thin strip and stop at the first horizontal score line and just cut that off, okay? So you're just gonna cut up the short, 
I'm sorry, the thin rectangle and stop at the first horizontal score line. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and on all the other vertical score lines, I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna cut up and again, stop at the horizontal line. This is creating the flaps that make the bottom of your bag, okay? So there are three score lines there that we need to cut up and then stop at the vertical line. And you can notice that we're forming the flaps here that are gonna flap under and make the bag. All right, now let's go back and look at those partial score lines. What you wanna do on the partial score lines is just gently fold them inward, okay? Just gently fold them inward, okay? So that will get them started. So when the box comes together, it'll be easier to get that pleat. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and adhere. And we're gonna go ahead and use one of my favorite 3D project adhesives, which is the tear and tape. And this roll's getting small. You can tell I've been busy. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put the tear and tape up and across the side there. Very simple. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the tear and tape off and I'm going to use, I've learned something that has worked very well for me. I've got this you pick tool and it has little heads on it and one of them is a piercer and I found this to be a great tool to get the back of the, the tear and tape off if you don't have any fingernails, which is me. So that works very, very well there. Now we have this side ready to adhere. I'm gonna turn it on its back and I'm gonna fold this one over and then I'm gonna fold this over and they meet perfectly right where they belong. Okay, so there you have the first step on making your bag, okay? So now we need to work on putting the bottom of the bag together. Okay, here's our top. We got our pleats started. And so I'm gonna turn it upside down and we're gonna put together the, the bottom. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tear and tape again and on the flap that I choose to put in over last, I'm gonna go ahead and put two pieces of tear and tape. Oops, that was my head, sorry. I hope you didn't see that. All right. And then I'm gonna put a second piece across here. So this is kind of a basic, the basic kind of plan we use for making any kind of box on the bottom. All right, so now I have these two pieces across. So what I did, I'm gonna fold in those two small flaps, fold down the first larger flap, and then I'm gonna take my U-Pick tool and I'm gonna get these backings off which makes it so easy. You don't have to sit here and watch me pick and pick. There we go. And then I'm gonna line it up carefully and just flap it over like that. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it back over and I'm gonna take my scissors and kind of push it down in there. Okay, all right. So now comes the part that we make it a um, fold flat. Okay, and this takes a little nudging by the, uh, while you're making it because it, we don't have the exact folds that we need. So what you end up doing is, you're gonna go ahead and go up to the top and you're gonna pinch together the folds, okay? And you're gonna work your way down to the bottom. See how I have this all flat now and I'm working it down to the bottom. Okay, now I'm to a point now that I can move on to the next step. You wanna make sure all your pleats are in and you have a nice, smooth pleat right there. Okay, that one's a little out, so you wanna make sure that everything is in. Okay, so I've squeezed that now, and then what you do is you gently fold it over on itself. Okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, and then it can open up. Just like that. So it's just a matter of being very careful and folding that over and kind of coaxing the paper into the fold flat pleat. 
That's how easy it is. Isn't that great? So there is one made out of the Let It Snow paper. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're gonna make a coordinating card to go with it. Okay, what I did is I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock, cut at three by six, and I scored it at three on the, on the long side. So what I've done is I've made a little three by three note card, okay? And then I took a piece of paper that was left from my 12 by 12 designer series paper that I used for the bag and cut a two and three quarters by two and three quarters inch square with that, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some Tombow on the back. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it right on the front. This can be just a little note card, doesn't have to be very detailed, okay? I mean, this would be fine if you just wanna put that in the envelope and put it in the bag, that would be a cute note card, but I always like to put a sentiment on the front. So I chose one of the sentiments from the Let It Snow, Oh, snowman season, it's called. The, the, um, sta the um, stamp set from this is called the snowman season. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my two-inch circle punch, and I'm going to punch out my white circle, whisper white circle. Now we're going to do some stamping on here. I'm just going to use two colors. We're going to take the Coastal Cabana, which is such a pretty color. I love the Coastal Cabana and the red together for such a bright, pretty Christmas themed gift bag. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the little snowflake images and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stamp all over this little circle. Okay, now since this is gonna kind of be the background and not the sentiment, I'm gonna stamp off first and then stamp on the circle just so it's not as dark as it could be because we wanna be able to read the sentiment on there. So I'm gonna ink it up with the Coastal Cabana. I'm gonna stamp on my work mat, and then I'm gonna stamp on here. The same thing again, stamp off, and then stamp here, okay? Stamp off, and stamp. One over here. All right, so there is the start. That's kind of just the base for my sentiment on the front of my card. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Let It Snow sentiment, which is also in the snowman season, and I'm gonna stamp that on here in real red. And there it is, love it. All right, so that's gonna be your little sentiment that goes on the front. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Starburst Punch. This is a great punch to have in addition to your two inch circle punch to make your sentiment on the front of your card because the two inch circle punch fits perfectly inside the Starburst Punch. Now watch, I'll go ahead and I'll put a little bit of glue on my Starburst. And then you can see how great that fits right on there and you can see a little bit of scallops around the side of the, isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, so now what we're ready to do is go ahead and put that on the top of our card. Let me find my dimensionals. I had my team over here yesterday and we were using dimensionals like crazy. We had great fun. All right, let's go ahead and on the back of my Starburst, that's in Coastal Cabana, I'm gonna put three dimensionals, and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this right to the front of my note card. And there you go. There's the note card for your bag. So you're gonna have a bag and a coordinating note card. And Stampin' Up! does sell the little four, three by three inch note card envelopes. So you wanna grab a bunch of those so you can make these coordinating note cards for in your bags. So there we go, slips right on in there. Isn't that so cute? I love these. And then you can just go ahead, come on. Then you can just go ahead and slip that right in your bag. A little bit of tissue paper and you'll be ready to go. 
I'm a big fan of little lip balms or candy or things like that that you can have in a stock of in your house. And then you can pull these out and fill them for those unexpected gifts. So that's all I have for tonight. And if you have any questions about any of these um, dimensions about the project, you can go ahead and check my blog. If you have, still have questions, you can always message me. I'd be glad to answer any questions about the projects. So again, here are some more of the other ones and see how I can just keep them all together. And if I take out the note card, I can just have these all stacked up, ready to go. And here, see here are all my note cards that I made for matching. So you just take a little panel from the remaining piece of the designer series paper that you didn't use and you can make it into a cute little card that will go with the bag. So it's a great idea, just something nice to have around. Rather than going out to the dollar store and buying little gift bags, you can make so many more than you could um, for the money at the Dollar Tree. So that is the project for this evening. Next time we're going to make something fun that we made with our team last night and it is called a I'm gonna call it a little treat box ornament okay you can hang it on your tree and we put some mini Giardelli squares in there so let me hold it like this so you can say see it we use the um, feels like frost designer series paper it's a very it's a silver metallic paper and then I use the beautiful um, gray granite ribbon. So I'm going to show you how to make these. These are great to hang on your tree and then you can hand them to gift as a gift to anybody that stops by. And you can, it's plenty of room. It's about a two by two inch cube and you can have plenty of room to put little goodies in there. So next time we're going to go ahead and make this together. It'll be a lot of fun. Very simple. You can make them and have them on your tree for this Christmas, I'm sure. All right. Now, let's talk about what is our gift for tonight. Well, I'm going to stick some nice Stampin' Up! goodies inside this pretty twall bag. And I'm going to include the note card as well for somebody who shares or comments on this video. And by next week, this time on Tuesday, I will let you know who wins the goodies so don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. I appreciate you watching and take care. Bye-bye.